Hi everyone, welcome back to yet another in-depth review video of Oxen OS. This time it's Oxen OS 11.0.9.9 for OnePlus 8 and 8 Pro and Oxen OS 11.0.11.11 for OnePlus 8T. Just like the last few 8 series update, this one as well isn't bug free. In fact, comes with some serious issues, which we will be discussing later in today's video so that you can ultimately decide whether you should go for the update or not. And if you have already updated, then what are the possible ways to overcome the issues? In this video, we will mainly be talking about the caveats of this update along with the fixes done in few areas. So without any further ado, let's get started. Talking about the fixes that are done with the update. The network issue that I was facing with the last update got resolved and after this update, I didn't face anything as such till now. And the proximity sensor issue during long duration calls can be noticed a little less than before. Talking about the charge cycle, this was a bit surprising to see the charging time got reduced this time around. It took only 20 minutes to reach 50% and 60 minutes to reach 100%. Talking about the battery discharge time, it depends on various factors and it will vary from user to user. And during my daily usage after the update, I found the backup time to be less than before and I am noticing the backup time is getting reduced with every update. Even with the last update, I was getting a screen on time of 6 plus hours. But with this update, I am getting a screen on time of around 5.5 hours. Here are two battery discharge cycles based on my usage. During the first cycle, with normal usage, I got a screen on time of 5 hours and 16 minutes. And during the second cycle, I got a screen on time of 5 hours 20 minutes. And with the camera usage and gaming for an hour, the screen on time went down to 4 hours and 56 minutes. The nighttime battery discharge as well got increased and was somewhere around 8 to 10 percent. Whereas with the previous update, it used to be around 6 to 7 percent. Talking about the temperature of the device, with my normal usage, most of the time the temperature was around 35 degrees, but I noticed some abnormalities where the temperature suddenly went up to 42 43 degrees. Though no heavy tasks were undergoing and the ambient temperature was under 20 degrees. While gaming for longer period of time, the temperature reached 40 degrees, which is acceptable as the processor is used excessively. But while using the camera specifically for video recording, after 10 minutes of recording, the temperature reached 47 degrees. I even received this temperature alert. And once again, the ambient temperature was under 20 degrees. So I found it to be a little concerning. You guys do let me know in the comment section whether you are facing anything as such in your device or not. Talking about the next caveat. I found some issues with the system applications. The first one is related to the gallery application. After installing the update, I noticed lagginess and jittering while using the application and once while swiping through the images, suddenly I noticed that the application got frozen and after a few seconds, this pop-up came up. Though, after clearing the cache data of the application, I didn't face this issue. Next one is related to settings application. While in settings app, I noticed major jittering and lagging and the problem is still there and can be found when noticed minutely. Few users even reported that the Google settings is out of alignment in the settings application though I didn't face anything as such and I think this issue can particularly be seen in the global variant of Oxen OS 11.0.9.9. Talking about the camera application, though there is no change in the application version, but I found some issues while using the camera application. When I was trying to focus on the object, it was not getting focused and had to close the application. The focusing started working once I forced off the application and restarted it. The next issue in the camera application is once again related to the focusing. Every time I tap to focus on a particular object, the macro mode is turned on automatically which shouldn't be happening and have to turn it off manually. And here are a few images clicked in auto mode and I'm quite happy with the quality. Talking about the display, after the update I noticed the green tint issue while the power saving mode is turned on. It can only be noticed when using the device in a dark environment and the brightness is kept under 15% and specifically while using a video playing application like MX Player or YouTube. I even tried to check with other applications like Chrome and Gallery but the green tint was not that visible. As I mentioned in my previous video, few users face issues with the payment apps like Google Pay. But I personally didn't face anything as such while using payment apps like GPay, PhonePay and Paytm. Once again, I think this issue is particularly present in the global or the European variant. You guys do let me know in the comment section whether you are facing anything as such or not. Well, the last caveat is related to the app crashing. Multiple times, I noticed WhatsApp getting crashed, but after uninstalling and reinstalling the application, the issue got resolved. 
talking about the performance after the update i found the overall performance to be okay except the fact that the few times while gaming for long hours i noticed some minor lagging so at the end i would say it's one of the worst update that oneplus ever rolled out for the a series devices and i won't recommend you guys to go for this one so these are the pros and cons of the latest ota update that i found in my device do share your experience in the comment section and if you like the video please do give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so that you never miss an update with that being said thanks for watching the video i gonna catch you in the next one